a core is out, but this is a team that is not going to be intimidated by the moment. Saeed Pridget with a two, and Montana with the early lead. This is where Creighton's got to sink their teeth into Montana in the open floor. Flip back to Jefferson, will feed Crumple down low. Back out for three, and Jefferson hits from the back-to-back trays. And I consider that transition. Job to just come down with it. So many guys want to catch it and put it right back up. Sometimes you just got to grab the basketball. Crumple inside, grabs it, slams it, and draws the foul. Well, you can flex on him when you make a play like that through contact. Martin Crumple, look at him slipping out of the ball screen so you get a mathematical advantage out of it where you're four on three. And so Crumple all the way to the basket. Rory falls, more heads in a poster, and Crumple flexes just as they've been through the wars. Oh, Crumple getting free and another stuff. He's got six early. You know what that is, Kevin? You have Bridget coming out just a simple little flex cut, able to score. Balak. Got the three to fall. The Jays still. The turnover, though, for the Blue Jays. Seven first-half turnovers. Ogine on the drive, tipped out, stays with Montana. Pridget gets it back and got an open look, and he hits again. He's got 16. And he's the hot hand. Here's Pridget back to work again. Deep three for Manuel, and Montana's on top. But this is impressive because Creighton shot it well. See if the Jays can take advantage. Alexander with an open look from three. No. Person, yes. Shaped the complexion of games a ton. Tyshawn Alexander with a three, and it's good. That's what he did against Clemson time and time again. Every shot fell for Tyshawn Alexander. Alexander. Crumple will launch from deep, and he'll hit. Martin Crumple, just his second three of the year. Alec continuing to play with those three fouls. Jefferson on the drive. Open man is Mintz for three, and he hits. Again, great pass. He has a pretty big game on his resume, and count the bucket as Ogine gets to the rim. Mintz working against Rory. Looking inside for Epperson. Epperson with a little 12 footer. That falls. Just gorgeous. And he's got such good touch. Boy, he's been good. He's got 20. After a quiet first half, he's exploded. And if you knew if Montana was going to make a run, it was going to be at the hands of Rory and Ogine. 13 second half points for Ogine. Balak with the answer. Rolls it home. You, you just not, you think you're close. Not Cal, and his career at Montana has been terrific. Zagorowski with a steal. Speeds to the other end for two. Zagorowski. Active defensively, can do a little bit of everything.